Hey there, Brian Jantz at Bamboo Spirit Martial Arts Center. Today we're going to uh, go over four reasons to use your check hand. By the way, if this is the first time you've seen any of my videos, please subscribe. Right now. Right now. All right. So these are the reasons why you would uh, use your check hand. Number one is obstruction removal. Number two is defense. Number three is offensive. And number four is grabbing the cane. I'm going to show you the examples here. Okay, obstruction removal, it can refer to slap off or pull off, okay? So let's go through this here. So he gives me angle one, okay? So I go like this here to here. Now he's blocked this. I need to move this in order to hit him, okay? This is the obstruction removal. And I'm using my check hand to do this, okay? So I go to here, okay? That's one reason to use the check hands to move the obstruction, remove the obstruction. Let's do that again. So you go here, here, boom, obstruction removal, okay? Many of you know this, okay? But some folks may not know this. Um, some neglect their neck check hand, and that drives me crazy, okay? All right, the second reason is defense, okay? So you may have figured this out by now, but Alice is gonna feed me the punio, okay? So here, now as Master Chuck Goss likes to say, never ever do a face block. No, this is bad for you, okay? You need to use the check hand to defend. Here it is, okay? Let's do that again. Here, use the check hand. Not your face, hand, not face, this. Okay, so that's the second reason to use the check hand, defense, okay? All right, the next one is using the check hand for offensive maneuvers, okay? Um, a good example would be the left versus right parry back fast. Okay, so I'm gonna be the driver. We're gonna do this nice and slow. He's gonna defend here, okay? So this is what we're gonna do. We're, do, we're gonna do this out of single center wally. Okay, from here, and I do the sweep stroke, and he returns to Trump Puno. Check hand, parry back fast. That's the offensive move here. I'm using this offensively to take him down. Let's do this again, from here. Here, hmm, 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 got it? All right, so here's another example of an offensive move. Let's break out of this, here, 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 and you break out of here, and you pull this, and you hit him right here, okay? All right, so that's the third reason, uh, is using it in an offensive way. Now, And the fourth reason to use a check hand is to grab the cane. Yes, grabbing the cane. This is the biggie. But before you practice grabbing the cane, you should be practicing your check hand on block, check, counter. Here's what I mean. He's going to give you a seven. So you go block, check, and then counter. This is the precursor to grab, grabbing the cane. So let's do that again. So we go block, check, and counter. Okay. What you don't want to do, and this drives me crazy, is when people do block check counter this way. Block, and then they do this without using their check hand. Come on, use your check hand right here. Because if you can put your check hand here, you're in a position to grab, okay? Now, let's go to the grab and go here, right here. See, I can pull them off balance when I grab them. So let's see that again, so, right here, boom. Okay, so grabbing also unbalances the opponent. So let's do that one more time. So you go right here, bam, right here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Those are the four reasons to use your check hand. So um, please subscribe to my channel, like, share, and comment, and come back next time. Thank you. Have a great day.